what the country needs is wealth creators. The politician said, the business leader said, the lords and ladies say it, and all the queen's women and men, but I'll bet you've never met a wealth creator. I haven't. But I bet I'd know one if I saw one. I've been reading up. I hear they shit money, I hear they come gold, I hear their farts sound like five point plans. With the smell of richness. I hear their sweat shines like diamonds, because it is diamonds. I hear they never went to school because their brains are made of Wikipedia. I hear that instead of hearts, they have tiny packages of platinum, just in case. I hear their baths are... No, they don't have baths. They sell their skin dirt to sick people who lick, lick, lick it up because they've heard it is more nutritious than food. Food is only 70% nutritious. The rest is poison. I've heard that, when attacked, wealth creators excrete a venom that appreciates the value of a property by 45%. Some say the wealth creators only appear once at summer solstice as long as Jim Davidson is on the telly. I've heard that the wealth creators will never come back until everyone buys the box set of Mad Men at 12 o'clock on a Tuesday while wearing brand new underpants and tweeting Taylor Swift to ask her what her favourite brand of deodorant is. This is the truth, the wealth and the way. I've heard that... There is a secret society of people in society who don't care whether the wealth creators come back or not. There are doctors, lawyers, bakers, bin men, post ladies, firefighters and social workers and people on benefits. They wear shoes and drink tea and buy umbrellas and get wet in the rain and they're all around us. They may be living next door, beside you while you wait for a bus or sitting next to you watching some silly YouTube video on the internet. And they believe we are all wealth creators. Fucking hippies.